What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Let's Talk. I am Pickle, and we're going to talk about Facebook. There. Same face. Longer, more awesomer beard. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're going to talk about Facebook because I personally, I hate this damn thing. I hate it. This little goofy shit of it's your friend anniversary. Kiss my ass. I've known people longer than I've had them on Facebook. So that's not my friend anniversary, Facebook. It's not. But it's um, collapse all chat tabs. Oh, look, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, like, like there's, there's no way just to have the damn thing go away. You log on Facebook, that shit's right there. It's right there. The entire time. Just, hi, we're here. Why are you such a pain in the ass? I thought it was funny that I ended up getting an email from my old email account saying that so-and-so had sent me a message. I'm like, well, how did they send me a message? I'm not, I'm not on that damn thing. How, what's my password? I don't even know my password anymore. There's a little thing that it's a notification. You know, I, I got all these dumbass fucking things up here. There's a notification. Do you know what that notification is? That notification is to tell me to turn on notifications. So that permanent little one red circled piece of shit is always there as a notification to notify me to turn on my notifications. I hate this thing. I get the practicality of it. Whenever you actually break it down, if there's people that you don't see often or that were here that have moved elsewhere for military purposes or the friends that I've met on the other side of the world, I can keep tabs on what the hell's going on with them. This isn't, this is a good medium for that. I will give you that, but fuck you. I hate this damn thing. It's so invasive. What are you doing? Tell people what's on your mind. What's on my mind? I fucking hate you. That would be a post I would have. If there wasn't some intensely personal stuff up above this little thing, I would go and make that my goddamn little status update or whatever the hell it's called now. I'm so sick and tired of this thing. And then I've recently been going back into and watching uh, Shameless again, which is a fantastic show, by the way. If you haven't watched it, I highly, highly recommend it. I think all six or seven seasons are on Netflix right now. But um, there was a spot in there was, why does she have pictures of you on her Facebook page? Why are you still friends with her on Facebook? That's a thing. That's a thing. I, I do remember there was a time, and I'm a little ashamed to admit this, that I got pissed off. I was like, why does it not say that you're in a relationship with me on Facebook? Hmm? Why didn't it say that? It should say that. It should say that we're in a relationship. Why doesn't it? Hmm? Why doesn't it? And it got sort of to the point to where we have this overwhelming need to just put all of our shit out here just for attention. That's all this is. That is all this is. This is Facebook the attention grabber. That is all Facebook is. Nothing more, nothing less. It's, I did this today. Look how fantastic I am. I used to go here. People need to find me. I need to rub in their faces how great I'm doing in my life right now. Look at my awesome wife. Look at my awesome husband. Look at all this shit I have to do with my kids. Look at all this stuff I've done for my kids. Look at all the places we've gone. It's nothing. It's attention seeking. That, that's it. I remember there were posts where people were putting their whole business on there like, I think he's cheating on me. Why is that a public post? Are you serious? Why are you putting everybody on front street like that? What the hell are you doing? That is not okay. Not even a little bit of that is okay. Even if you do it cryptically. Uh, having some relationship issues. I need some, some, no, no, the entire internet does not need access to that shit. That's what you have friends for. Put could really use some company right now. Throw a line like that out there. See if people send you messages. 
they won't do it directly because they want people to know that, oh, well, look, I, I replied to them when they needed help with this situation because I had the Nutter Butters they wanted. Like, are we this hard up for attention? Seriously, are we? As a society, is this really where we are? There was a comedian that was going on about Facebook. And he was saying, I don't understand why you would sit there and talk to someone or be so involved with someone who won't drive to come and see you. Like, think about that for a second. You're out with friends or family or your significant other, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whoever you're out with. And all of a sudden, something on Facebook goes off. You go to go check it out. It's just something of, look, I went and and got some ice cream. You took time away from the people that are directly in front of you, that are there, that are wanting to spend time with you because you had to sit there and check see what was going on on Facebook. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I, I, I don't know. Maybe there's just a part of me that is kind of going, this is a thing in society that needs to go away for the most part. I, I honestly do think it needs to go away. Or at least how it's turned into needs to go away. We're not using it to communicate with each other anymore. Isn't that what this whole purpose of this fucking thing was? To communicate with each other. I got friends in in Washington State. Well, I'm not in Washington State, but I'd like to communicate with them. Hey, thought about you today. WTF is going on. Okay, you're able to keep a line open. Or maybe you've got people that are uh, truck drivers or something. Uh, flight attendants, pilots, those kinds of things. Jobs that aren't always right where you are, but you're just wondering how they're doing. This is a great way to, to get in touch with them, but we don't use it to get in touch with people. This is a this is a platform for grandstanding now. I saw this today. I thought y'all might like it. Attention seeking. <clears throat> or whenever there was this whole, like the latest fad seems to start and just spread on here. I remember towards the end of whenever I was uh, getting rid of my main or I guess my personal one um everyone was putting the equal sign on their uh as their profile picture like we're all equality do you have to do this thing on Facebook do you really why can't you just stand in solidarity why do you have to make a show of it because you want people to know look at how awesome it is again like there's no way for it not to be clamoring for attention there's no way no way at all um, Anthony Jeselnik made a comment on, uh, his latest special thoughts and prayers. And he goes, I always find it disgusting. And of course, I'm paraphrasing. It's been a little while since I've seen it, but he goes, I find it disgusting. Whenever someone has something tragic happen, what do we always put? Our thoughts and our prayers are with you because you know what you're really doing. I understand that you're going through all this right now, but I just don't want you to forget about me. Or whenever there's that tragic thing, I still don't understand this. People will hit a like button. Really? Really? Someone just had to put their dog down and, and you hit the like button. You're glad their dog is gone. That's what you're signal that's what you're signaling. I remember there was a post that said, I was so glad that my daughter brought you into my life. It's like the daughter I've never had. You've been an amazing help for, for my daughter, and I'm so glad to have known you. I hope your birthday is awesome today. They didn't type thank you. They didn't type anything back. Just hit that like button. That's it. And it was that, it was at that exact moment, at that exact moment, I went, what the hell is this site now? For real? I, I, I was dumbfounded. I'm like, this person just took the time to put something insanely personal and heartfelt on your page. All you can do is, what? Are we losing touch with each other that badly? Are we? Are we really? I mean, at what point does it stop? I, uh, I, I'm at a loss here, people. Like, these are things that actually happen, that actually take place. I've seen there's websites dedicated to like Facebook fuck ups or something to where it's like, I can't believe my boss did this to me. He knows how hard I work. He should know better than this. And guess what? If you have a first and last name that your employer is aware of 
and they are friends with you on Facebook or you have their uh, business uh, locked in as far as where you work, they can see that. They look at that. That girl got fired because of that post. At what point do we stop? Isn't it a lot more fun whenever you go out to eat with a friend? Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. What's been going on? Rather than I've read everything that you've been talking about on Facebook, so I have no need to actually have an actual conversation with your ass, even though you're right in front of me. We are that disconnected with what is right in front of us that we're so concerned about how we look in just such a broader scale. Went out to lunch one time, ordered my food, sat down. <clears throat> my food was brought to me. And then shortly after that, a family of four walked in. A husband, wife, and two daughters. As the gentleman way is, the father had the youngest one order. She ordered, sat down, pulled out her phone. The oldest daughter ordered, sat down, pulled out her phone. The mother ordered, sat down, pulled out her phone. The father ordered, sat down, looked at all three of them like, now what the hell am I supposed to do? Again, pay attention to the people that are there. They have actually given a shit to take time out of their day to spend with you. Disconnect from this shit. Why does it matter? If it's direly important, guess what? You'll get a phone call. At the least, you'll get a text. Instead of, I saw your Facebook post. Ugh. Come on. At what point do we stop? I've seen things like I've made three lunches or cooked breakfast for five. I made three lunches. I'm on my third bit of laundry. I'm folding while watching The Price is Right. I'm going to go grocery shopping to make stuff for dinner later. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Why are you posting that? Why? Because you want some kind of gratification from it. Who gives a shit? Make your PB&Js. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Do you want to know what I had for lunch today? No, you don't. Why? Because you don't give a shit. So why are you telling people what you had for lunch? Or what you made for lunch? Or what you're going to have for dinner? You know what you could do? Can anyone recommend a Chinese restaurant that is not Panda Express that is actually pretty damn good? There. Now you're engaging with people instead of sending out texts. Hey, I'm in that area. Why don't you check this place out? Oh, we've had them. Got food poisoning. Never go back. Well, that's crazy. I mean, there's the, you can open up log, dialogues really easily. But we don't. <laughs> we don't. It's for grandstanding and broadcasting. I don't give a shit about the latest recipe you saw. I don't care. I don't give a shit about how long you walked your dog today. I don't give a shit. If I'm wrong, chuck that shit in the comments below. Fire back at me. If I'm reading it wrong. I'd, I'd love to know if I'm reading it wrong. Maybe I'm looking too far into it. Maybe I'm making too big a deal out of it. Either way, throw it at me. Otherwise, you know, hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Facebook ain't got a dislike button. If you want to hit the dislike button, by all means, hit that shit. Wail on it if you want to. But I just think we can be better people. And we don't need this fucking thing to do it. You know, it's just like MySpace. MySpace is gone and came back and is gone again. This can go too. We don't need this. There's no practical purpose for this. Or at least the practical purpose that this thing was made is no longer being used for that. So I sincerely hope that this at least gets you to kind of change, at the very minimum, change how you actually operate on here. Just a little bit. You don't need to sit there and tell me, well, Pickle, I un uninstalled on my shit, so uh, I'm with you on the fuck Facebook revolution. Okay. But you don't have to get rid of it. I got one here for, you know, my YouTubes. Find me on here and we can bullshit. We can start up all kinds of crazy shit. I don't care. But actually use it to engage each other instead of just broadcasting and grandstanding. But we can do better than just Here's what I had for lunch today. I don't give a shit. Use it to communicate with one another, not to communicate to one another. It's with. Have it be an actual interactive thing. Do more than just hit the little thumbs up button. If, if you make a post and I comment on it, I don't need you to comment on it. If you like that and you don't have anything to say, then go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. But if you got more to say or there's something else you could say, type that instead. It's not that hard. It's really not.
Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting on and on about this. Um, yeah, you guys want to sit there and land bass me? By all means, chuck that shit in the comments below. You want to call me just, I don't know, an idiot for going on and on about how much Facebook sucks ass? <laughs> Fucking go for it. I Bring it on. I'm all for it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. There's a, if there's a let's talk topic that you want me to go on and on about, put that in the comments below. Maybe there's something that I can share. At one point, I'm going to revisit the comic thing, so I'm letting you guys know that now. Because there's a, quite a few issues that I forgot about because I hadn't read them in a while. So, um, yeah. Until I see you guys then, I'm Pickle and I'm out.